Hey, what is going on guys? Diamond here. And today I'm back with another plugin showcase where today's plugin showcase is on Minecord. Minecord is a very unique plugin which gives the players ability so if they're ever in a certain proximity of each other, if they're in a Discord call, they would hop into a private call depending how close they are in Minecraft. So it takes everything that's in Minecraft and connects it over to Discord, which is just awesome and the way it works is just amazing i'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works and everything regarding it and there isn't a lot to show in game and it's more in config and in discord overall so as you can see there is a small little screen over in discord and you can see as well that it is mainly just showing a call i'll be hopping in in a bit and i will show that it actually connects i put the settings as a total of about 50 blocks i would actually get near the player and pretty much i don't have much to show other than that and all you really have to do is one simple command is slash md link which is the main command you're gonna have to do in order to connect your account with minecord over to discord so that means so pretty much the only reason you do this is so discord realize okay this is your actual account you will connect your mine account with discord so it works just as simple as that so i'm gonna hop over to my alt and actually do the command and after that what it'll do it'll give you a certain code and with that code, you just have to go ahead and private message the bot. So in this case, my bot is actually called Skyblock, but you can name it anything you want. So this is actually quite difficult to uh, explain while well, I have to record two things at once here. So once you pretty much sent the correct number where it's current spawn into the message you will get, I will show a little preview of it on the screen right now and how it pretty much should act. And all you gotta do is just private message the bot in Discord and that's pretty much it. Once your account is linked, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in the call as well and then you'll see how it actually works. I'm getting random users also connected to it. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. And after this, all you have to do is slash MD toggle. And then once you got that, it will pretty much be enabled. And you have to make sure that the other user is enabled as well. Once that happens, we both just went into a private call. That's super cool. And it's all correspondent to how close you are. So I'm just going to go ahead and get far away from the user. And after... There we go. 50 blocks were pretty much far from each other. At the moment, it is talk to speak. And yeah, it's... It's just really cool the way it's set up. This would be actually really awesome to see both in a UHC server, in a SMP, even Skyblock would actually work just fine. And I'm going to talk with the developer and I'm going to try my best to leave this on my server as much as possible. So if you guys actually want to try it out, you can hop over to my server and over in Skyblock, you can test it out for yourself. And on the scoreboard, you can see Minecord, these players can hear you. So it will show the corresponding players that can actually hear you. So 50 blocks and it will disconnect me automatically so right about here there you go so of course you can change everything in game and anything regarding that as well and it's just really cool the way it's set up you can also set how high you want it you can i set a total of 50 blocks so i believe if i go any way high higher than 50 blocks it will automatically disconnect this as well so it is corresponding see like that so it's corresponding to both x y and z that's really cool and I would love to see this in other servers and the, of course the VChat and as much as I could do this is the best I can show you in game and on discord at the same time now I'm actually going to show you how to set it up and other features you can check out in the config of course this does require two plugins and I'll leave both of them in the description down below and before we even continue with this the developer is so kind enough he's giving one free copy away if you guys want the chance of winning it just go ahead in the link go, click on the discord and there's a giveaway tab ready and pretty much all you have to do is just click the emoji and you're in for free that's it you have the chance of winning it that's all you got to really thank the developer and give him some love because this plugin is really cool and well coded and wop in the configuration and show how everything's done there so i was about to uh, start recording the discord scene and um literally just just sent me a message a video about minecord i love you <laughs> so that was perfect timing eh, just all right, so other than that, let's go ahead and continue with this one. So you're going to need, of course, the primary plugin. So you need to make sure both of these plugins are in your plugins folder. After that, we don't really need much other than the mine cord folder. And here is pretty much where we're going to go ahead and set up your very own bot today. So yeah, <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and just skip every single thing from options and database. And we're going to go straight to Discord. This is where you need your main features at. For that, of course, you do need a Discord account and I'm going to show you guys everything and how to set one up. For this, of course, I'm going to have to delete my old bot and create a very new one. 
Okay, so pretty much here, I created a Minecore bot, and this is the client ID, which you're gonna need, and then you're also gonna need the token. So after this video, I'm actually gonna have to delete my bot because the token is a key important and you should never show your token. Another key thing, make sure your bot is never on public. So that means if it is, other users can go ahead and add it to their servers as well. And that's really not the best option of mainly when it's gonna be regarding your own server. So after you have it created, you put your name and then you make sure you add it as a bot as well. You're gonna go ahead and there are a ton of tutorials on how to create a bot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just invite mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. I'm getting this of course from a GitHub and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the client ID and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it right here. And I'm gonna invite it over to my server. So go ahead and select the server you wanted. So I went in squad, authorize, and then uh, it has to make sure I'm not a bot, even though I've done this a hundred thousand times. It's this child's play. Okay, there we go. So it's been added. It pretty much joined the server. It's authorized. And we can go ahead and close these. Now we have to keep this page open because it's gonna be regarding this main issue. So first we need a token. So we can come over here and grab the bot token. Let's go ahead and click the copy button and just go ahead and paste it in like that. After that, you're going to need the server. So in order to get the server, you're going to have to make sure development tools are on. And after you got that on, you're going to have to right click it and then copy ID. And then that's going to copy the ID of your server. So you can come over here and just go ahead and remove the zero and paste that in as well. Then you need the waiting channel. And to get that as well, you're going to need developer mode. And this is gonna be my waiting channel right here. Copy the ID, go back in, and then paste it in right here. And then this is the bypass role. For doing this one is a bit different. If I actually am 100% on it, what you have to do is backslash and then put this, the role you want. So for me, it is staff. I want staff to pretty much be able to bypass it. So just type in the role you want and then go ahead and click enter it. It's either a backslash or a forward slash. I don't even know if forward slash is a thing. I did that incorrectly, okay. So yeah, backslash, so backslash and then the role you need. So there we go. I need this ID right here. So if I copy it and go ahead and paste it in right in there. And then this is the voice chat category. So you need the category it's in. So right here, I need to copy that ID and then paste it in right there. And that is pretty much all you need to set up Minecord. So after that, this right here is the scoreboard where you can change pretty much anything regarding the messages that you get. So this is really up to you and what you change. And the main features we have are up here. So you have the world that's disabled in Minecraft. You can set Nick to true or false. This is regarding both in Minecraft. So if your Nick in Minecraft, say for my example, it's Diamond, Rush XD. If I join Discord, it would change my Nick over to the correspondent one in Minecraft so users know who I am. So this is really helpful for staff that can identify who's doing what. If somebody's going ahead and just swearing or being rude or anything like that, they know who it is in Minecraft and could give them a mute or anything regarding that as well. Then here we have Nick between, we have the radius and the Y radius. So like I said, you can change that to your liking. And this is corresponding to how far you want it so it makes them join in the same group. Here we have press press to talk. I would I actually don't like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to false because this is regarding in Discord, it's push to talk. And then here we have the scoreboard, use it or not. And then we move scoreboard on disconnect, true or false. Disable voice chat if muted. Disable voice chat if deafened. Force voice chat. And then I actually want this to true because I want them to talk. Remind link true. Pretty much it, it has every statement right here. It, if the previous setting is disabled, whether or not send a message to an unlinked player in loop, remind them to link their account. So this is really important. I actually would leave it on true because it is very important. And then remind link delay. So every 600 ticks. And here we have ignore if vanished true. So this is really important for staff. And pretty much that's about it. This is the main key important thing that you actually have to change. Then you have all the messages you can change in here as well. After you got that, you can go ahead and just save your file and go ahead and upload it. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving my bot a certain role because once it's online and you actually turn on your server, it's gonna appear right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my server. So it's booting up and then right here, the bot should be online. After that, it's pretty much exactly how I showed you in game. There we go, it's online. As you can see right there, Minecord, it is working just great. And pretty much after that, all you have to do is in-game and then link it and it should appear regarding this message right here. 
you have successfully linked your account and of course you have to do it in private so make sure to enable friends and after that that's pretty much all you need it works just great and so far i haven't had any issues of course the developer does have a discord and you can contact them here about any issues or any help or support on the plugin as you need it as well other than that that's pretty much the whole plugin right there hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys have make sure to smack that like button down below if you guys want to see any other videos make sure to leave your ideas in the comment section and of course i'm dime huge thanks to developer for allowing me to this video it's actually pretty spectacular to plug in and i love it you guys should totally check it out in the description down below and check out pebble while you're there as well i'm diamond and don't forget to join the discord in the description so you can check out this plugin for yourself and i'll see you guys next time cheers